think uh, for me, uh, in the beginning, I was looking for a way out, you know, because I, I grew up in the ghetto, so I was looking for a way out. But uh, I later realized that it, it's always been something that I feel most comfortable doing. Um, because I'm a last born of four boys, and my mom loves makeup a lot. So when I was a kid, I used to just watch her do makeup. And I got to know some makeup products even when I was a kid. So I think it's, it, it was just meant to be this way, I would say. Made myself known as a makeup artist for the past maybe three or four years. Uh, because the beginning is, uh, was very tough, you know, a lot of free jobs, a lot of um, uh, people calling you uh, for work in the name of exposure and stuff like that. Um, not getting jobs because you're not known. So yeah, the, it was really tough. My first job was a movie called The Distant Boat. Um, shot it uh, six years ago. Uh, it was a Christian movie, and that's when I got uh, my first interaction with uh, movie makeup. When I did um, the president's makeup, that's when I, I realized that this is this is a career for me. So it it boosted my morale. It made me think, oh wow, this I, I could just take this on as a career in itself. So. You know, having that mindset automatically makes you work harder and, and focus more on what you're doing. So I think it's a ripple effect. Maybe being a male makeup artist in Kenya has worked to my advantage in a way because uh, ladies prefer a male makeup artist more to some level, I would say. Uh, but these days it really doesn't matter. It's more of the, like the quality of your work, the quality of work you put uh, you put in, um, that's that's what uh, sets you somewhere you know different from the rest. It's usually more through my social media or referrals. If you have a great personality and you don't have good quality work, then it really doesn't matter. So I would say it's both. I would say I love uh, telling African stories with makeup. So whenever there's a movie and um, we are telling a, an African story, then for me it's very personal. And if I'm shooting a, a dance video or a fashion video, I want to make it African. I want I want us to own it. I want I want it to have an African feel. So that's that's what inspires me to 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 work and to create more ideas. At first, no one really buys a crazy idea if you want to venture into something else that is, 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 is not uh, what people expect you to venture into. Then not so many people would buy the idea. So at first they were not receptive. But after maybe sharing the success stories and, and what my makeup is doing and, and uh, what impact maybe some of my projects have made, then they, they started accepting and they, they really love and support what I do.